All right. Good to go. Well, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us here. Um, my name is Sabrina Freeman. I'm a mom of three, three boys actually. I have an almost six year old, uh, three and a half and a five months old. So it's a crazy house right now here. They're all active boys, but uh, it's fun. I'm also a holistic health coach and um, super passionate about just helping my family and helping others to live live healthier, live a healthy lifestyle, getting better nutrition into their kids' diets and um, everyone else's diet, right? And so um, I'm here tonight to really share some fun recipes, um, a bit of education, and uh, really just some simple health solutions that we all have found over the last years now and have really helped um, our families stay healthy. So um, this topic is super near to, um, to my heart and we love to pay forward to others. And that's why we thank you for being here. I know it takes um, a lot to, to be here and takes us 30 minutes, especially during this time. It's bad time for a lot of the kids out there. So thanks for taking the time for yourself and uh, to listen in. So I'll be sharing this presentation here and um, we have a couple slides for you. Uh, so you might wanna take some notes or uh, take some screenshots. There's some good stuff that we were sharing um, actually with the recipes on them. But also don't worry if you don't get it. We will, the person that invited you here tonight will definitely reach out later on and she can um, send you um, the resources then um, after the webinar. So no worries. So, okay, but before we dive in, let's see. I um, wanted to ask um, who of us here on the webinar tonight has kids that, um, you know, are either, you know, often arguing or actually refusing any kind of, their meals, right? Maybe even tonight, what was it? I mean, I know it for, for myself, I'm, we are always trying. There's always that, you know, new vegetable or something on the plate and I'm sure we all had it, right? They're all, no, I don't want this and pushing it aside and arguing and refusing, right? It's just so hard for us sometimes uh, because we keep trying to put it on there. So it's a constant battle. Um, to get to eat some good stuff and we still have it we're not perfect so even my kids they they try right so it's just part of navigating life with them um and we do our best but you know what it's the small little steps that count so whatever we can do to you know even if it's like just sneaking in those vegetables so they don't even know so trying something new to incorporate those fruits and vegetables into some of their favorite um, meals, that alone will get them started well, right? And that's, that's what we wanna share. Um, and again, it's, you know, it's not the perfection, it's always that progress that one step after time, and you know, trying them to get uh, used to something else, right? So um, a little fun fact here. So if, if you wanna maybe hold up your fist, you might know it, you might not, you might have heard it, right? But this really is a serving size. Um, a serving size, size for, you know, just like an average adult is actually about um, 10, 10 serving sizes, like 10 of those fists of fruits and vegetables. Um, and an um, average um, um, kind of kit, that would be seven servings for a male, 13 servings, and for athletes, even more, or active kids, even more. So we say about seven to 13 servings of fruits and veg veg veggies are really necessary um, per day. Um, but most of us are really not getting that. Even for myself, I do eat so relatively healthy, but do I get those seven to 13 servings? No, not usually in my meals that I prepare myself. So, um, you know, that's, that's something that, that we want to try to bridge that gap with our solutions that we're going to kind of share with you here tonight. And it, what's fascinating um, is that um, I've, reading, I've read a, a research that showed that you can prevent 7.8 million premature deaths eating by just eating the adequate amount of fruits and veggies. That's amazing, you all. So um, really, think prevention, prevention over treatment, right? This is huge. And um, so we, uh, you know, again, like in my house, we are not perfect. Uh, my kids are still picky eaters, um, but it's the little things that help. So that's what we want, that's what we are here for tonight. So get ready, we'll be sharing some nutritious meal recipes with you. Um, so let me kind of start 
and or you've been looking at this beautiful um, introduction slide for a while now. So let me see. And I'm going to navigate here. Okay, let's see. All right. Look at those beauties. So <laughs> first off, so here's some fun breakfast recipes, right? Um, so the most important day of the meal is really the breakfast. You've, you've heard it numerous times and it's really the first thing you put into your body um, that was the first thing you put into your body after that long time of sleep, after pretty much hibernating for 12 hours, right? When you had your last uh, meal. So really your body is waking up and is craving some nutritious stuff. So you want to feed it with, the, some, with something good to get off to a good start for the day. Um, also fascinating is if, um, if you've heard about that, maybe um, the longest lived people in the world eat the biggest meal at breakfast. So that alone wants me to just get whatever I can into my kids in the morning, right? And get some, get some set up for the day. So really think healthy breakfast, big breakfast. This can be and should be one of your uh, bigger and most nutritious meals for the day. So here in my house, we have a couple um, go-to breakfast um, uh, recipes. Uh, so this one, the first one here, the nutritious or the, the monster muffin, we call it a monster muffin. We call it sometimes different names, but this is such an easy go-to. Uh, you can whip it up in the morning because it's very simple. It has just You see the rest of the ingredients right here. It's super fast to um, you know, put it together and pop it in the oven or just make them ahead on a Sunday night when you, when you prep um, for the week, right? Um, so don't know about you, but my kids really, they love anything that's colored, right? Any kind of seamed food and colored food, like if it's a pop, like a, a vibrant green, a vibrant red or something. So really it's fun to kind of play with that and, and food recipes. Um, so that's, so we call these, you know, monster muffins or um, dinosaur muffins or whatever. And, you know, they have, um, what does they have in there? They have zucchini in there, they have spinach in there, and they don't even know it. They don't even taste it. And that's such, a, such an awesome thing. So uh, we, we love, we really love this recipe. Uh, I would encourage you to try this with your family. Um, pancakes, who doesn't love pancakes? Uh, this kind of pancakes here, it can be entirely gluten-free and it's super simple with like just two, three ingredients. You see it here, banana, eggs, if you want, you can put cinnamon. And then we love to eat it, to add our um, plant-based uh, protein powder to it. And it comes in vanilla and chocolate. So sometimes we make even chocolate pancakes. So um, super fun. And then they can top it with whatever they want to put on there. The plant-based pro uh, protein powder has also an additional 15 plants in them. Um, and they have eight grams of fiber. So uh, a super win for us moms. Uh, can't go wrong with that one. And uh, overnight oats. Who has heard of overnight oats? They're so simple. I love them too. I put them together the night before in a mason jar, put the ingredients in there. Um, you know, this one right here has the oats in there, the, the chia seeds, and then some fun toppings later on that the kids can put on. If they don't like the chia seeds, you can leave them out. But again, it's such a cool thing to be creative together with your kids. I love that too. So let them choose what they want to put in there. Put them in beautiful mason jars, have it in the fridge when they get up in the morning and then, you know, they can even pull them out themselves or, you know, then you, you have little ones still, I, they still like to eat them sometimes warm. I just pull those, warm it up really quick and we are done and ready to go. You can top them with uh, bananas, um, sliced bananas with fruits, with nuts, um, chocolate chips, drizzle some honey or all kinds of fun stuff on there. So these are kind of those first three um, that are our favorites here in the house. And then, of course, um, talking smoothies and um, smoothie bowls. So these are not just our breakfast favorites, but also um, snacks throughout the day. We absolutely love um, smoothie bowls. Um, just made one this morning. If some of you have maybe seen, just make it, you know, fun for them too. Let them put some toppings on there. And it's so easy to, to put them together. Um, the boys love everything chocolate, of course, um, kids in general. So this one is a really fun one, chocolate um, cherry. Can also be chocolate covered strawberry. And you know, you put the frozen fruits in there, you put some peanut butter maybe in there, you hide the spinach, the spinach in there again. 
so wonderful to get um, those greens in there and they don't know what spinach or even kale. And then another thing that I also found out um, just recently, I honestly did not know it, but zucchini. So the zucchini is something fun that you can add to smoothies. They don't have a very strong taste themselves. So they are very easily to be, you can cover that taste up with other flavors from what you put in the, in the smoothie, right? So you can freeze the zucchinis and then just add them to the smoothies. It gives them extra nutrition and creaminess. So um, that's definitely something you wanna try out. And then of course, um, for that creaminess, we always have bananas in our freezers. So grab some extra ones when you're in the store or when your bananas go kind of brown, then we cut them up and put them in freezer bags and pop them in and they're always there. I make nice creams with them. We'll talk a little bit about this later on, but bananas are like a go-to here in this house. So um, of course, if you make smoothies or smoothie bowls with some kind of greens in there, you want to make sure that they are cut up, chopped up, so your kids don't see them, right? That's kind of the key to it. Uh, so probably a good mixer is really worth while investing in. I have a Vitamix since years. I don't want to miss my Vitamix. don't want to go over a day without it, but there's other options. There's really other good Vita mixers out there, but that's probably key to really get those things into the kids, right? Uh, because I remember when I didn't have, you know, even seeing myself, some of the green things, it's not as pleasant if you like eat it as a kid and you have those green things in there. So invest in a good, um, and a good mixer would be wonderful. So smoothie, smoothie bowls. And then of course, they always, we always add our plant-based protein powder in those as well. Um, again, vanilla with chocolate and then just putting all kinds of fun um, fruits in there for them. <clears throat> all right, moving into snacks and lunches. Um, I mean, we have feed some breakfast and let it be as big as it is and as nutritious, but then two hours later, three hours later, right, kids come running and they're hungry and all day long is like, what can I eat? Can I? And then if we don't be careful with our pantry, they usually go in there by themselves. So I have to make sure I arrange the pantry the way so they can get the healthy stuff, nutritious stuff. But again, what can we do to have stuff handy for them for snacks or then for lunches and to not you know, get the kitchen too messy. So we love this idea here, uh, cupcake tins. If you haven't heard or seen those things, um, they're so great to save you time in the kitchen and just make it fun for the kids. Um, they are pretty much any kind of tray. You can even do it a cut, uh, like a cutting board and arrange it that way that you have little, you know, portions on there. But a cupcake tin or even ice cube trays for the little ones will work and you just fill them with pre-made snacks and you put them like um you know uh whether they're playing in the game room or even maybe outside in the garden and make it fun have a picnic blanket out there and put it on there they love picking on those different things uh, variety is key and then color is key because the nutrition is in the color right so put those fun different, you know, fruits and veggies in there that have that vibrant colors. I love that. Another uh, good idea, we do that a lot in my house here too, it's avocado toast. Um, if it's not avocado toast, then we have um, avocado with a tortilla or a spinach avocado quesadilla, but avocado is like a, almost a daily thing we eat here too. Um, avocado toast can be fun if you cut it in little cute shapes for them. Um, um, and then, of course, like I said, avocado is just great for, for their brain health. So they can um, also put fun sprinkles on it to kind of get them involved in it, makes it more fun for them that they eat it better, uh, uh, more likely, right? And it gives them a little tray with different sprinkles, like the sunflower seeds or sesame seeds, black, the black ones or the hemp seeds. Um, you can cut up, dice some um, cucumbers or tomatoes, um, pomegranate seeds, like there's so many options out there and just again put it arrange it in little cute trays and let them go wild and sprinkle their avocado toast with some fun things all right and last one here the um tater tots gosh everyone loves tater tots right and there's really some really good options out there different kinds of veggie tots um if you just google them go on pinterest they have fun recipes there uh, just think about broccoli cauliflower um, uh, 
sweet potatoes, all of those things. And they're so, so simple. You just pretty much mix them up. You mix the potato with another vegetable, like the broccoli or just the broccoli, and um, put Parmesan cheese, um, Italian seasoning, mix it up, bake them, done. And they can just grab and pick them throughout the day or for, you know, putting them in those cupcake tins or um, whatever you want. So great, great um, recipe ideas here. Um, for that, you can also, there's a great website, um, mamables.com has some fun um, uh, tater tots recipes, but again, we'll share some as well. All right, moving on. Um, let's see. Oh, one other thing, there's so much to share. We have so much fun stuff, but I also love, we love banana sushi. I don't know if you've heard about that, but you kind of cut a banana, you spread some nut butter on it, and then let them sprinkle stuff on there again, right? Chia seeds and cut them, and it's a really good snack for them as well to grab and go. I also sometimes warm up coconut milk, and not coconut milk, coconut oil and then drizzle it over the banana and then put like um, cacao powder or chocolate or chocolate protein powder on top of it. And it kind of gets melted and oh, that's so good. They love it, I love it, so. All right, let's move on. Let's move away from the, the food and snacks for a little bit and let's talk a little bit about hydration. Summer, summer is hot, um, especially here in Texas. Uh, we all need more water, right, during the summertime. Um, we sweat it all out. Um, I, my boys are super active. We love the outsides right now. It's kind of hard and limited, but we always are outside and they run around a lot. They all the time and they get me going around and running around. So we need to hydrate, right? Um, and they, you know, they ask for those fun drinks. They've seen it. Their friends drink all those like fun flavor, uh, colorful Gatorades. And that's what they want to drink too, right? But we, don't, I mean, we have never bought any of those and we don't want to buy any of those sports drinks here to have them in the house. So um, there's other ways around that. So here are kind of uh, three tips that help um, keep you and your kids hydrated and kind of go around those um, bought um, sport drinks, right? So infused waters, you've seen those, they are fun as well. Pinterest has lots of great ideas and pictures, inspirations for recipes. Uh, kids love, the, you know, they can pick their own types of fruits, um, slice them up, uh, they can be fresh or frozen, put them into a nice mason jar cup or like, you know, or a nice see-through bottle so they can see them and let them have fun with that. So that's always good. Let them um, pick their fruits and um, make their own um, infused water. Um, then another really good tip here is um, adding a Himalayan, sal Himalayan salt. That's really a good way to keep the body um, hydrated because we sweat and we sweat the, um, we sweat out all the natural storage of sodium in our body. So a balanced sodium level is what's needed to help bring your blood, um, those nutrients and get the hydration all around your body, right? When you exert yourself. So um, that's really a great way to start. But one great way to start is having lemon and salt water to recharge. And you can also do that, um, you know, especially because you've been super dehydrated after you get up and after you know, your sleep time. So that, you know, for, for all your moms out there, um, that's a great way to start the day. And then, um, of course, for the kids, um, we can try the, the DIY um, Gatorade or sports drink. And we have a fun recipe right here. Um, so I don't know about you, but you probably have seen Gatorades and any kind of sports drink. And on the back of the bottle, you see all the ingredients, right? And it's scary. It's scary. It's the longest of ingredients. It's stuff in there that I don't even know how to pronounce. Probably most of you don't know. Um, so it's, it's stuff. It's usually loaded um, with a lot of sugar, with synthetic colors. And we know that those, those can kind of things and also, you know, all the other kind of synthetic chemicals, they, they can adversely affect a kid's, a kid's attention and the focus, right? And that's kind of counterproductive or counterintuitive. We want to have them help. We want them to be healthy. We want them to hydrate, but then we give them all those um, kind of synthetic chemicals. So no, let's try this fun recipe here. It's um, easy. You can make it in bulk and store it um, and give it, give it to them. Do it, put it also in a like nice little um, see-through bottle 
um, so they don't kind of feel missed, uh, left out when they go to their sports practice and they can get hydrated that way. So, all right, fun stuff. Um, let's see, next one. Kind of want to move into a transition in, um, into something else and talk a little bit more about why it's so important that we eat so seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day, right? It seems a lot. Um, and, you know, it might have not been that much 30 years ago, but you, but today, if you think about it, uh, the produce we buy in the store has significantly um, less nutrient levels as they had like years ago. Um, so, You've heard it probably, you know, before, but, you know, you know, even if you think about the soil that they're grown in, they, uh, the soil is depleted of the nutrition nowadays. They don't have the same nutrition anymore. So um, it's sad that likely the fruits and vegetables that we buy in the store can have up to 50 to 70% less nutritional value than they would have if they would be picked at, uh, you know, at, at, at a ripe season when they're fully developed. Um, and if they would be grown in a, in a good soil. So they have to travel, you know, lots because we get products from all or produce from all around the world, right? And they have to travel a long, long uh, way to get over here. So the nutritional value is not at all what it used to be. And then especially think about, we then roast them, we cook them, we steam them. So what's really left? I mean, it's still good, of course, don't get me wrong. I mean, we still wanna eat the fruits and vegetables, right? But that's why, that's just explaining why we nowadays need that many, time, that many servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, so that is always kind of a good eye opener. Um, another important reason um, our families should be eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is really for our, to boost our immune system, right? For our health overall. And I know right now, a lot of us are concerned with, with immunity uh, at the moment, with everything that's going on with school about to start, although we might not know what that really will look like, uh, look like. But as a mom, we want to do the best to protect our kids, right? To protect them and provide, get, make them have a strong immune system. So, and we can, you know, we can actually do that because we have our internal pharmacy inside of us, right? Think about it. Um, there's, we, you have like natural killer cells that, um, you know, are all around in your body and they go and they fight um, the, the, invade, the invaders, they fight the viruses off, they fight disease and sickness. So you have those natural killer cells there, but, but you must be feeding them, right? So that they can do their work properly. Uh, so again, we whole circle see it back to the, the food. They also need the right type of food so they can work for you and work to protect you against those diseases and viruses. So um, junk food is not what's gonna do it. Um, if you put too much junk food and all the processed food into your body, then that will actually um, uh, get the killer cells to be um, more sticky or stick together and they, will, they, don't, they don't perform as they should be, right? Um, so, and then of course they don't move around, they don't protect us. So we're getting sick. The result is getting sick uh, quicker. So what we need to feed them is a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, lots of different colors. It's super simple. The nutrients and the antioxidants that we get from those, pro from the produce, um, feed those cells and, um, build them up. So our body can work properly to fight off all the sickness. So. Here again, prevention over treatment. And you've probably also heard the term fight disease with your fork. So that's it right here. Um, so that's, that's something I'm very passionate about as well. And it just, um, this knowledge kind of burdens me for my own family and for others. And that's why we are here tonight sharing this simple and um, powerful information. And again, it's those small changes that we can make for our kids one step after another that really can yield bigger changes over time in their health. So um, what I would love to do is, let's see. Oh, and then we have actually, if you're interested in this topic even more, immunity and everything, we have a fantastic um, uh, video that we can watch, that you can ask to be sent, that you, the person who invited you can send to you as well. There's not enough time to watch that, but there's a great video on immunity as well. 
Um, so let's see. Okay, I had one more slide. What's the timing? No, I need to rush through this. Here, I just if you want, you can take a screenshot. But again, we'll we'll share some of these things with you. Um, smoothies. We talked about that. Popsicles. I mean, summers are fun with popsicles, right? Kids kids grow up with popsicles. Great kids remember their childhood with with ice creams, and these are just really fun. Um, healthy versions of those two snack um, ideas here, especially the nice cream. That's definitely something you want to try. I mean, they don't even know the difference. It's, it's, it's super, super neat. And they, you can, uh, you know, just eliminate all those added sugars and um, all their, you know, the, the, scent, the, the colors that usually come in those um, bought ice creams. So you can even hide this, this recipe right here has cauliflower in them. Um, so another way to hide vegetables. Super fun. Um, all right, let's see. Now, that's not the first one. I'm gonna share a little video with you. Um, let me see. I need to, let me see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Because I would love for you to look at um, two, some moms are sharing, um, um, it's a fun way of explaining um, how we all have found a simple solution to get more fruits and vegetables into our kids and into ourselves. So uh, let me see, oh gosh, I'm stuck now. Let's see. Oh, stop. Let me stop sharing my screen for a second. Yeah, I have to do that. Ah, yeah, all right. All right, let me see. Sharing again. All right, let's check out this video real quick. Our Healthy Starts for Families program is a wellness initiative to yes. inspire healthy living at home and teach families how to increase their nutrition by getting more fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. New dietary guidelines recommend that we eat 7 to 13 servings of fresh fruits and vegetables every day. Being parents ourselves, we know this can be difficult to obtain for a few number of reasons. Picky eaters, limited budgets, busy schedules, or lack of access to fresh fruits. This is where Juice Plus steps in and bridges the gap. Fruits and vegetables have an incredible amount of nutrition in them, which is why we figured out a way to take 30 different fruits and veggies Put them into a giant blender, peels, pits, seeds, everything, and grind them down. Then we remove the water and sugar so the final product is raw, powdered nutrition from those fruits and vegetables in a capsule or chewable. The cool thing is that when you have a child between the ages of four years old through college age, they qualify to get this juice plus for free for four continuous years when an adult is ordering as well. What we noticed with the families that started the Healthy Starts program is that they started to look at other areas of their life too. So what happened is they began to drink more water, they ate less sweets, missed less school, and weren't sick as often to name a few. Every family's experience is different. When we asked a group of moms what they had noticed in starting their families on Juice Plus, this is what they said. All right, you guys, I am running out of time. This is a video we can also share with you, but um, this is just a really quick introduction um, about the simple solutions that we have found. Right? Can you hear me? Oh, Yana. Can you hear me? Let me see. I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay. I'll wrap it up here, but so this is really our way of how um, we start being healthy at home. So it's, for me, it was just a, such a game changer of knowing that there is, you know, those fruits and vegetables 
pretty much is dehydrated, put into capsules, put into chewables, and that's something I can give to my kids every single day so we can bridge that gap um, of what they're eating and what we should be eating. So it's a wonderful thing. Um, and we did wanted to share with you guys that um, for this month, we have uh, a fun option here that um, for anyone that is interested in this Family Starts Health program to get their own nutrition, can also get um, the free nutrition for their child, um, which is usually part of this program. So anyone four years and up uh, through college, uh, college age can receive free nutrition. And now they're also adding a free bag of our plant-based protein powder. So it's a fantastic um, promotion. And we wanted to share that with you all, that that is going on right now. And that's an option for you um, to get started on some of those things. So um, the person who invited you here tonight will be reaching out with some more, um, with the resources we shared today and with some options of how you maybe can get started, right? So we, we, we said um, we will have those resources and of course you can um, see how we can get maybe started on one of those nutritional programs that we shared today. So thank you so much for um, joining tonight and um, for letting us share some of those fun inputs and um, yeah reach out if you have any questions and uh, hope that it was helpful. All right thank you.